man Rob, uh, my coach for the day. Damn, 30,000 miles on there. I've actually never seen one of these in person. So we just had a, a little emergency meeting. We had two people in our last session go down, unfortunately. Ay, ay, ay. What's up, guys? First track day is today. Um, and it's already off to a little bit of a rough start. Go figure. I don't know if you guys can even read that. It's currently 4 or 5 in the morning and I'm trying to get this freaking bike put back together and I'm going to show you what I'm dealing with. So this rear tire is a complete pain to put on by yourself without any help. Issue is this rear brake caliper keeps falling out. So it falls out when you put the tire in. So I had to phone a friend. I called Tanner at, mind you, it is, like I said, <clears throat> 4.05 in the morning. He answered, and because he works night shift, and he's gonna come help me out real quick. It really wouldn't be a big deal, except the fact that I have to be at work at 6 a.m. So I don't even know if I'm gonna sleep tonight, and I still need to drive three hours to Nashville after working, get to the track, and then we're gonna ride all day long. So my judgment will not be 100% because I'll be very sleep deprived, but to make it work. Like I said, it's always something, but the journey is what makes the end result so much better. So here we go. I'd even film Tanner when Tanner was here because I'm freaking not even speaking straight, but we got everything put back on. We ended up having to take the whole caliper apart um, in order to do that. So if you ever have that issue, take these bolts off um, and then you can pull the caliper on, put the wheel on, and then you can put the um, brake pads back on and everything. Tennessee. I'm an hour ahead, so it's currently 1.13. We got an hour before we get to the track, and the meeting is in an hour. So this is gonna be really tight, but uh, we're gonna make it happen. It's always an adventure. <laughs> We made it, baby. All right, guys, we are official. I am not well right now from not sleeping, but. And we're going under the tunnel. Oh, that's pretty dope. The Nashville Super Speedway Bay. Bay! <laughs> Thought I had some fun. All right guys, so I'm gonna do my best to document here, but we just got out of the novice meeting and I'm my own coach, which is gonna be really cool. I'm super excited about that. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get the bike unloaded. We're getting on the track in about 40 minutes. So he's gonna help me tip up my bike um, and just get everything prepped. Then we got tech and uh, yeah. All right guys, so we are putting the tire pressures. We did our first session. I wasn't able to record it with my GoPro. We're gonna figure something out so y'all can actually see me out there. But we got my man Rob, he's uh, my coach for the day. He's been awesome thus far, man. So I'll get him to talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on, but it's nuts out here in the pit. It's really cool. I'm enjoying it. One session down. Do y'all see the blueing on this SC project? On this ZX-10, that is absolutely beautiful, man. I love this straight right here. That's my favorite. My man out here getting it, baby. That's awesome. Some boys coming in. It's a little, nice little setup out here, man.
down. You need to be aware of the shadows. The light kicks on. Okay. It's going to feel like someone's getting ready to come ribbon by you on the inside. <laughs> Right, guys so i didn't even notice that we got some nice blue in of the titanium exhaust finally i love how it matches the wheels that looks insane to say i'm in love with this uh awesome racing exhaust is definitely an understatement Woo! it is deep and she pops just like i want it loud and obnoxious baby um i'm gonna show y'all around here in the garage we got kudis's cbr 1000 triple r sp that should look familiar we got a 799 out here. We got not too much on the bottom end. We're on the far end here. BMW S1K, looks like a is ZX10 or it's a, okay, yeah. ZX6 out here. See, I'm gonna have to do this, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna mount y'all up like that. So y'all can see, uh, y'all can see what I'm, what I'm looking like out here since I can't put it on my helmet. They got the setups out here. I mean, you got way more people out here. And the people even in the back back there got a beautiful zx10r right here look at these beautiful ducatis over here man this v4 is absolutely gorgeous love the setup with the tire warmers on there i think that's an 1199r i'm looking at the tank man look at the chain and everything on here this bike is beautiful man let's put the turn me heck yeah Got a CBR 1K. I hear I wanted one of these so bad back in the day. That was a CBR 1K. ZX10, oh, this should look familiar from one of my Nashville videos. He was gone, out of there. This guy is insane on this bike, really fast. And at the Fireblade out here, shout out to my old black and red one that started the channel. Throwback Vibes. Another beautiful CBR 1000 R R6. It's hard to tell with some of these race fairings on here what these exact bikes are, but another R6 over there, ZX6R, RSV4, 1290 Super Duke over here, heck yeah, CBR1K, we need to get some tire warmers because them things look badass on there for sure, looking good, 600 double R, we got an R1 over here, I don't know what this is. EV, I figured, okay, I, I thought so, I wasn't sure. It's beautiful, man. Hell yeah. That is sick. Wow. I've actually never seen one of these in person. Hell yeah. Got an all-carbon R1 out here. 
with the purple. I like that. It's got the purple wheels on there. S1K sitting pretty. The race fairings on there. Got another duck out here with the matte white on there. Sheesh. I love that purple though. We got the R1. I love this color on here. I've never seen that. Very unique color scheme with the orange wheels. That's a really cool accent on there. Love the orange, man. That's dope. Oh yeah, with the purple levers on there and everything. He's got the winglets on there. He ain't playing with the carbon, moist carbon uh, frame cover. Same thing in the rear there. That's beautiful. S1K with the SC Project exhaust. Absolutely love the neon on there. That's dope. That's cool, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you. This boy's got some nice bikes out here. Yeah, look at the bluing of that exhaust. We got some more Yamis down here. We're getting down to the coaches, I'm pretty sure. So we got Raul came over and said, what's up? He's on this beautiful S1K over here, man. This thing is gorgeous. He's done a couple a couple track days, I'd say. I mean, you got it done up right, man. All the carbon fiber and everything on here. Rizoma mirrors on there. What's up, man? <laughs> that is gorgeous, man. You got like an Instagram or anything you want to shout out? No. No? <laughs> Hey, that's fine, man. That's fine. This is a beautiful bike, bro. Beautiful bike, man. And yeah, he got the rug and everything. Tire warmers. He ain't playing with them. He ain't playing with them. I love the red uh, radiator guard, too. What all you got done to it? We have the tune. Yeah? Who'd you go with for the tune? Brand. Brand, okay. We have definitely Brand. Brand tune. We have the Ute. Okay. The F1. Okay. And the Evolution itself. Hell yeah. That's pretty much that's all you need, man. That's all you need. <laughs> yeah, this thing is nuts. Yeah. Damn, 30,000 miles on there. Yeah, you riding this bad boy. He said it's his daily, he tracks it, does everything with it, man. I love that, bro. Hey, you bought it to enjoy it. You know, I always say that, man. Bought it to enjoy it, not look at it. Got some pictures over here, little baby. R6s, R6s. Let's go! <laughs> Jixer, another R6. Little Grom action out here. It's a Ninja 400 and a CBR 1K. This is actually my coach's bike. I guess he's swapping out the rear tire. I didn't know they did that out here. I just rode with it. So that was cool to kind of bring the brand new tires in and kind of break them in out here like they're supposed to be, but I'm not gonna invade on people's space out here and start walking around their cars and their trailers and on their bikes, but even more cool stuff out here, man. Got some more Ninjas, R6. We got another R6 out here looking pretty. There we go, uh-oh. Oh, I'm scared, man. <laughs> I'm scared, man. I don't know if I need all that. Oh, God, it'll be fun. R7, 60th anniversary. Had this on my story the other day. Love this color scheme in person. When they first dropped it, it wasn't a fan, but in person it's beautiful, man. And we got more over here. But like I said, I'm not gonna invade on people's uh, tents and trailers. All right, guys, so we just had a, a little emergency meeting. We had two people in our last session go down, unfortunately. That's dope, man. He came by and said, what's up? We got Ben in the house. No problem, I love you, I appreciate it.